to share with us your testimony, how God has healed you. Um, yeah, um, it happened about, I want to say when I was 16, so 2012, I, uh, um, I was like, I would start running. I was running a lot more. I would start, um, you know, just jump rope because um, for those who, of you who don't know, I like to box. So I'd have to like, I would do cardio, I would do jump rope, I would um, go to the track and run. But then um, every time I would run, I would get this like really painful like shin splints like right here. So any athlete knows or any runner knows that once you get them, it's, you know, it's not going to go away. So I would, um, I would have to stop anything I was doing and ice them for at least two hours. I would have to stop everything I was doing. So anytime you would run, it would hurt. Anytime you would try to do any physical activity, your shin splints would hurt really bad. Yes. And what did you, what did you try to do to medicate that? Um, well, obviously, you know, I always prayed. And then um, in addition to try to cope with the pain, I, would, I went to Walmart um, to, buy the, <laughs> to buy the Dr. Scholl's for the soles for my feet to reduce the shock. That didn't really help. Uh, and then um, just icing them, but it didn't really help. And so can you share with us what happened and how did you receive your healing? Um, I want to say it was about two weeks ago. And, um, yeah, um, it was a regular service. Um, and then it came to the point in the service where Vlad was like, all right, if you have a sick part of your body, put your hand over it and begin to pray and receive that healing through through faith, you know, and then so I was praying, I sat down right there where Luis is sitting, and I was tired of the pain, I was tired of buying new uh, Dr. Scholl's things, and uh, I was just tired of it, so, like, I just prayed, like, with all of my heart, just with everything, I was like, I'm done, like, I'm not going to have this anymore, so I prayed, and then I stood up, and Vlad said, okay, now exercise a part of your body, or, and to, to, to see God's healing, to, you know, to see, and so I like, normally when I would like squeeze them, it would hurt because it, it was my bone. So I, I was squeezing them like super hard and I was like, I was like, oh my gosh, like, I'm not going to cry. But um, <laughs> uh, it's just that, you know, you waited a long time for healing and it finally happened. So it was awesome. Awesome, you guys. Can we put our hands together for Jesus Christ? And AJ, can you demonstrate what you can do now painlessly what you had a hard, typical time doing prior? <laughs> Come on, you guys. Let's put our hands together. That is amazing. <laughs> do you feel any pain? No. Awesome. And so what would your advice be to the people that are praying, that are believing for their healing, or those that have come tonight and they have a sickness, um, that they have a medical condition? What would your advice be? Uh, first, you have to remember that, that we serve an almighty God, that a loving God and someone who cares for you. And so, you know, it, whether it's physical or you know, emotional or spiritual pain, you know, don't let your mind fall to the level of your pain of your situation, you know, you got to keep your head up, you got to trust in God, and, you know, I always found this difficult, because each time I would pray, I would see people get healed, and I don't know if there's any of you like that, like, what felt, I felt, but, you know, God lets people go through certain situations to bring breakthrough to others, so, you know, um, just don't give up, and like Vlad said, um, God's silence is not God's absence, so, you have to pray and trust in God and believe in him. Amen. Amen. Thank you so much, AJ, for your testimony.